Miss Hemrose. Well, hi. Welcome aboard. Uh, I'm Dorothy May. We're with the Sunrunners Club. Gee, I hope there'll be some interesting men on board. Well, there's usually one, sometimes even two. And Pam! Dorothy! Oh, hi. Hey, this ought to be a uh, swell cruise. Uh, I hear there's even going to be a pool party right after we leave port. Let's, we better get unpacked. Mm. Hi, I'm Doug Bridges. Yeah, that Pam is really something, isn't she? She's the whole reason I joined the Sunrunners Club. You know, I'm counting on the old love boat magic to win her over. If it doesn't happen, I guess I'll just jump overboard. <laughs> I hope the magic works. I hope he can swim. <laughs> Hey, this is a great party, isn't it? Uh, -huh. uh listen, uh, if you're not busy tonight, maybe you and I could, uh, go to the dance on the I'm kind of tied up. Excuse me. Who's that guy Pam's with? I've never seen him at any of the club meetings. Oh, no, he's not a member. That's Paul Murphy. The Paul Murphy? No, I've never heard of him. Well, you must have. His name is always in the columns, dating models and actresses. No, he doesn't look like anything special. What's he got that I haven't got? Publicity. Hey, listen. Are you ready for a great idea? As long as you're having a lousy time and I'm having a lousy time, why don't we put in the rest of the afternoon together and make it a total loss? No, I'm really not in much of a party mood. Hey, Dad, don't let it bother you. A lot of nice guys get along just great with that phony baloney notoriety. Yeah, but, you know, it does seem to help, doesn't it? Lipstick. Lipstick. The guy who did it wore lipstick. He shouldn't be that hard to spot. It, w it wasn't a man. It was a girl. A girl? How would a girl mug you? Well, she didn't exactly mug me. She... Boy, this is embarrassing. All right, just tell us what happened. Yeah. And don't leave anything out. I, I was walking down the passageway, and she grabbed me from behind. Wait a minute. How do you know it was a she? Go for let him tell the story. She pushed me in the closet and started hugging me and, and kissing me. But you're okay? Well, of Are course you he's okay, right? Doc. He's fine. Now, look, could you identify her? Did she say anything? What? What did she say? Do I have to tell you? Well, not enough. Stay out of this. What did she say? She had to say something. Come on. I feel so cheap. She just kept whispering, you're irresistible. I can't keep my hands off of you. Oh, Doc. Sex star female, loose on the ship, attacking men in broad daylight. Has anything like this ever happened to you before? No, never. Me neither. <laughs> Okay, if this report is accurate, just sign right there. Oh, sir, I was just gonna come look for you. Yes. Uh, sir, one of our passengers has been attacked. Attacked? Uh, well, maybe that's too strong a word, sir. I guess you might call it more of a emotional mugging. Here's the young man involved, sir, Mr. Doug Bridges. Good work, Gopher. I want you to know, sir, we will prosecute this to the full extent of the law. Oh, sir, no, 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 you got it all wrong. A girl did it. Mr. Bridges is the victim. The victim? Yeah, you might say, uh, he's the violatee, not the violator. A girl threw you in a closet and called you irresistible. <laughs> yes, well, um, we must make sure this doesn't happen again. No chance. We've got 20 crewmen patrolling that corridor. Well, why did you assign so many? I didn't. They volunteered. Oh, this is embarrassing. Uh, look, I, I'm gonna hole up in my cabin for a little while. Curious. Mm. Gopher. Mm. When you apprehend the young lady who did this, 
I want to see her. Well, you'll have to take a number. So does everyone else. Uh, right away, sir. You'll be number one. I mean, you'll be the first to know. Uh... Hi, Doug. Feeling okay? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, Doug, we had to inform the security people, so word may have leaked out about you being dragged into that closet. I'm sorry, but... Well, I guess the story was bound to get around anyway. Still, I don't think the passengers will make much of a fuss over it. be true, all right. He was with the doctor. Poor guy. There must be something about him I miss. I always thought he was kind of special. I'll let you know if you're right. I'm sure they'll forget about it soon enough. Don't worry about it, Doc. Everything's working out just fine. Doug? Hi, Doug. Gosh, I haven't seen much of you around tonight. Well, I have been kind of busy. So I hear. Hey, there's a moonlight party up on the Lido deck tonight. Would you be interested? Sure. Oh, good. So would I. <laughs> Boy, mine's a lot was sure a lot of fun, wasn't it? Uh-huh. You know, I've been thinking. When you get back home, you should try to sell your story to one of the magazines. <laughs> no. I don't want to embarrass the girl, whoever she is. I'll get us some drinks. First round's on me. Yeah, I'm um, Two margaritas, please. Sure, come in right up. Hi, guys. Hi, hey. Joe. What's with you? You look terrible. Uh, I've been up all night trying to catch the lady love bug. I don't know, Doc. Gave her every chance in the world. Hung around all the dark corners. Never even laid a finger on me. Makes you lose your faith in human nature. You may be losing your sleep over nothing. That's what I said. What do you mean? Well, things don't just fit right. Doug's story doesn't quite ring true. Yeah, but why would he make it up? Who knows? Maybe a pathological need for attention, but my guess is it's a put on and never really happened. No female on the prowl, huh? So much for equal rights. There you go. Forget it. Where are the margaritas? Get them yourself, you phony. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dorothy. I spoke to Pam. Yeah, I guess I really blew it with her this time, didn't I? What really made her mad is that she fell for your little trick. You, uh... Made her take a look at herself, and I don't think she likes what she saw. Well, now I'll probably never get another chance. Are you sure you really want another chance? Dorothy, of course I do. You know the way I feel about Pam. All right, Buster. I'll get you your chance. You will? Hey, Dorothy, that, that's great. You don't know how much this means to me. Thank you. Forget it. I'm beginning to think you two deserve each other. I've been waiting for you. Bug off, Charlie. Didn't Dorothy talk to you? Hey! Hey! Great news! We caught the Lady Love Bandit! The one who attacked you! You caught her? Well, not exactly. Um, she came in and confessed. Same thing. Kind of makes a guy believe in Santa Claus again. Listen, she's up in the captain's office now. I thought you might like to go up and see what she looks like. In the light. Hmm? Come on. So it did happen. I apologize, Doug. You go ahead, and, and when you finish... I'll be waiting for you in the bar. Uh, Doug, got him. Come on. Okay, now be prepared to defend yourself. Remember, she finds you totally irresistible. Dorothy? You know her? I'm sorry, Doug. I, I tried, but I couldn't help myself. I lost all control. The animal wanted to go for her. What? She says she's sorry. She tried. I heard what she said. Oh, sorry. Dorothy, why did you do this? I can't talk about it. It's a... Uh... Dorothy. 
Dorothy. Will you stop all this and tell me what you're doing? Look, he wanted another chance with Pam. You got another chance. And it serves you right. You actually went and told the captain that you... That must have been humiliating. Mm, not too bad. And they're not going to do anything about it. They just think I'm some kind of kook. Dorothy. Look, aren't you wasting your time here? You got the killer reputation you wanted. Go knock her dead. Don't tell me you blew it again. Well, I hope not. So do I. I hate to waste that four-star performance I gave in the captain's office. Well, I'm afraid it was wasted. I already went back and explained to him exactly what happened in that closet. Nothing. And I also told him what you had to do with it, which was also nothing. I'm beginning to wonder what's going on in that tiny little head of yours. Well, isn't it obvious? Look, I, I started all this trying to be the irresistible man. And instead, I ended up discovering the irresistible woman. You know, Dorothy, it may not be big enough news to make the papers, but the fact is, I, I found that it's you that I care for. Very much. With all my heart. And with all my tiny little head. Wow. Is that all you're gonna say? Wow. I think so. Except for this. A great idea. Let's go back to that closet. <laughs> Only this time, let's not tell the captain. He's, he's confused enough already. <laughs> seeing that guy. He's a perfect flake. Oh, I wouldn't say perfect, but he does have possibilities. Well, Deb, hope you'll come cruising again with this real soon. Thank you. And next time, try to stay out of the closet. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm certainly glad there isn't any truth to that story. What kind of a world would it be with aggressive women going around grabbing men? It'd be terrible, Doc. It'd be just terrible.